Can Google Chrome read to me? The answer is yes. There's two ways to do this. One is to just do it straight from Google Chrome, where you highlight the text that you want Google Chrome to read to you, and it will just read that text straight to you. The second is to install an extension or a Google add-on to help you go through this process. We're gonna go through both of them together right now. The text that you want Google Chrome to read to you, and it will just read that text straight to you. The second is to install an extension or a Google add-on to help you go through this process. We're gonna go through both of them together right now. So right now I'm on the Atlantic Education website and I've got the text highlighted right here. Now, depending on if you're on a Mac or a PC, you would just hit control, right click, and you'll see here that I have the option where it says speech. When I click on start speaking, Google Chrome will start reading to me. And the fall of 2020, as my son and his neighborhood friends started to trickle back out into the world, my daughter, Izzy, stayed home. At the time, Izzy was three years old. To stop speaking, you just do the same thing and click on stop. Now, this is the same voice every time. You don't have a lot of control over the voice and it sounds really robotic. With the AI tools that are out now, you have an additional option and it's called Natural Reader, which is text to speech. So you'll need to install this in Chrome, which I already have. You can see right up here, it's this N. And I'm gonna go to that same article and I don't have to highlight anything on this page. When I get to the article that I want to read or the website that I want to read, I click on the end right up here and it's going to ask me a few things. Do I wanna add this to my reading? Do I wanna change my voice? Uh, and then I can start. So when I click on change, you'll have the option of a bunch of different voices. You can pick female voices, male voices, different accents. Uh, you can see that there's a list of all the ones here. I can change the speed of how fast this reads back to me. And you'll see some of these are free and some of these are paid. So if I go back to Jane, and you can see right here, I also have the option to change my language, which is great too. If you're trying to listen to a website uh, in a different language, not only can you translate the text, but you can translate the audio or read back. So once I hit play, here's the AI voice reading this article back to me. In the fall of 2020, as my son and his neighborhood friends started to trickle back out into the world, my daughter, Izzy, stayed home. Now I'm gonna pause this and change voices. So we'll go to a male voice, this is Davis, and we'll start all over again. In the fall of 2020, as my son and his neighborhood friends started to trickle back out into the world, my daughter, Izzy, stayed home. If you're a teacher looking to help your students with accessibility, this is a fantastic tool. Not only will it read out loud to them in English, you saw that there are hundreds of languages this, this, this will read to. So if you're working with ELD students or ELL students, it's a fantastic way to bring articles uh, to life for them. If you're here, it's most likely because you're an educator. Thank you for watching the video all the way through. If you found value or this answered your question, I would love if you would like and subscribe, share it with your teacher friends. Thank you for everything that you do for kids on a daily basis. You are changing lives. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm glad that you're here.